This isn't a bookbinding video, but it is related to bookbinding. This is a small desktop board shear that I bought uh, off Gumtree a few months ago. It's actually in pretty good nick. It's just a bit dirty and the blade's a bit um, blunt. Uh, it still cuts though. And I just wanted to give it a bit of a clean up and, and sharpen the blade. These board shears are well made, but they're rather rough. I suspect they were made in Australia. I suspect it's over 100 years old. I bought, bought it from a lady in Tasmania and she'd got it from a leather worker. So I don't know whether it had been originally intended for book work. The cleaning technique I use is one that's common in the antique plane restoration community. Um, most of the American videos on restoring antique planes will talk about using simple green as the detergent. Well, we don't have simple green in Australia, so I'll use the equivalent, which is this fairy dishwashing detergent. I just use it straight, give it a good scrub, and then I'll take it out the back to the laundry and give it a wash off and then quickly dry it with a heat gun to stop any uh, flash rusting. I'm not sure if the paintwork is original. It's pretty rough and it sort of matches the construction of the device. The gold lines, I suspect, have been added later. Um, they've sort of grown on me and they're part of the history of the board cutter, so I'm going to leave them. So I'm not going to do anything with the paintwork at all. There's a couple of um, white dots of uh, paint splatter uh, that I'm going to I'll, um, remove, but that's about it. It's important to dry everything quickly after it's been washed to avoid any rusting and I'll also give everything a quick um, coat of furniture wax.
these large blades can be a real pain in the neck to sharpen. Luckily there aren't too many nicks in the blade. It's also sharpened at a, a lower angle than you'd really need for board cutting, but I'm not going to change the angle. Uh, this is the back of the blade, so I'm just going to flatten that and hopefully uh, it won't take too much work. In the end, I probably spent about 20 minutes on it. First I thought the lower blade had had a piece of harder steel laminated to the base, but uh, it ended up being pretty soft, so I'm not even sure if they've done some hardening on this front edge. Uh, I was a bit careful with the file to not remove too much material, but it had some nicks that I really wanted to get rid of. Not really sure what I'm going to use this little board cutter for. It's very portable, so I might use it for classes in simple book structures. It ended up looking a lot nicer once the grime was gone, and it ended up cutting pretty good too. So I'm quite pleased with the result, and if nothing else, it'll look nice in my bindery.